life and layouts and today I have a video for you guys using this sketch by um, Sketch Saver and I am using Colorplay the Wizard World for some photos of my little ones in these adorable shirts that their mom made. The yellow shirt says we solemnly swear and then the green shirt says we are up to no good. And then they both have little footprints on them like you would see on the mortars map. So I thought that this paper was perfect for these photos. These photos were actually taken at a birthday party of Jackson's school friend and it was a Harry Potter theme so I asked if I could borrow these shirts so that the boys could wear them for this birthday party and they were a huge hit at the birthday party as well. So some of the favors that they got were these wands that the mom made which were fabulous. They had uh, glitter on them or like rhinestones on them and she had painted them all different colors and then they also got little Harry Potter glasses so they were doing a little show and tell for me with the glasses and the wands so I am following this set sketch sort of the sketch calls for four photos and they would be a lot smaller in size but I really wanted to get three photos on each side and I had a lot more photos than that but I end, I did cut them down and I ended up only with five photos instead of the seven photos that I have but they are very repetitive photos there's not a whole lot to them they're just posing in different ways we have to take several photos of my youngest because he is definitely not photogenic is probably the best word to use. So trying to get a photo of him, it's usually taking five or six shots just to get one good one. So I really like this word paper. It has all kinds of different Harry Potter sayings on it. Some of the spells and some of them just say things like uh, unique, honesty, wise, leadership, intuitive, loyalty, wisdom. So all of the things that each one of the houses represent. So I thought that, that would be perfect to add at there at the top. And I also got the ephemera pack that came with this paper as well and so I'm just going through that and trying to find something to mimic that cluster at the top of the sketch and then I am going to do a line at the bottom with my scalloped edge as well and I'm going to use the word paper again so remember this trick if you only have six inch paper which some of these some of the paper was full 12 by 12 and then some of them were only six by six but they were four six by six on a paper so I just cut them out and put them together and I didn't even worry about the seams because the words were all over the place and in if different directions you couldn't really tell that there was a seam there anyways. So I cut out this circle and I'm actually going to use the side that has the silhouette of Harry Potter flying on his broomstick as the bottom circle underneath the photo, my last photo, but the third photo in the sketch there. And because I am making this a two page layout from a one page sketch, I thought about putting it over on the right side of the page but I didn't like the way that it looked over there. So I am going to distress all of the edges of my photos of my photos <laughs> of my papers in the uh, black distress ink. And I wanted to add a little something extra to this. The sketch does call for uh, what looks like a border. It would be a black border on this one. But I didn't want just a straight border. 
So I did it at an angle. So you have the black showing on the left hand side as well as the top. And it took me, it was definitely an optical illusion because <laughs> once I get this down, then I cut the white paper so that I have a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And I probably pulled this up a couple of times looking at it just to make sure that it looks, that it's straight because right there, it just looks like it's not straight. So I even lined it up with my mat trying to make sure that it was truly a 12 by 12 and use the other page to line it up as well. And it was, it's just the slanted edge definitely gave you an optical illusion that it wasn't straight. So I'm adding this red paper and the red paper has broomsticks on it and a deer and an owl and the always symbol in the words muggles and nine and three quarters. So it has all kinds of obviously Harry Potter themed words on it. And I'm making that stretch by cutting out the center of it and putting it behind the tie paper. So I do end up using Fun Foam on the first photo as well as the yellow and black plaid. And then I put the middle photo down without Fun Foam. And I really wanted to accent the two houses, Slytherin and Hufflepuff, since those were the two shirts that they were wearing. So that's why I used the yellow and black plaid and then this green card here, the 3x4 card that says a book is a dream you hold in your hands. So our boys have not read Harry Potter yet. They're just a little bit too young. But we actually did just purchase the illustrated version of Harry Potter so that we have that to read to them a little later on. And I was flipping through it the other day actually and it is beautiful illustrations. The artist did a fabulous job on making sure that those f images really came to life in the book. So I think the boys are going to love seeing those images when we read through the books. So on the right hand side, I wanted to do something as well to, uh, again, not a full border, but I thought that I, this time I would do a straight border on the right hand side and the bottom side. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna cut off the excess white part to make a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And then I'm gonna start building up this page. And really I started out with that the tie paper. I wanted to go all the way across the layout. And then I moved the cluster from the from the right side of the layout of the one page layout to the far left to the far right of the second layout. So it really expanded the sketch itself. So don't be afraid to change up these sketches and make them what is works for you. I actually found this sketch from the scrap room. They had it a couple months ago, I think back in October. They had the sketch up and I really like the way that it came together with these photos. I purchased these stickers on clearance and I believe at Hobby Lobby on clearance and they are this black glitter thickers and they are gorgeous thickers. And originally I was thinking about putting them on the red paper, but it didn't really stand out very much. So I moved them over to the white part of the layout. And then I'm going to use these yellow thickers or yellow stickers to spell out you are or your a. But I felt like the yellow was too bright. So I used this gray distress ink to rough them up a little bit is probably the best way to explain it. So they have like more of a gray texture to it and it it works perfectly with these photos and this paper that align. 
I'm gonna add some black enamel dots down here to where my owl is. And then I'm gonna pull out this stamp set that's also by Photoplay. And it's a Harry Potter stamp, obviously. I'm gonna use two of the stamps from here. The first one that I'm gonna use is the Deathly Hollow symbol. And I'm going to stamp it. And then I try several different punches to see if I can get it to punch out because I was avoiding uh, wanting to cut it out, but it just didn't end up working. So I ended up fussy cutting this out, which is just a simple triangle. So it made it real easy to cut out. And then the next stamp that I'm going to use is Harry Potter's glasses because I thought that that would be perfect since the boys are also wearing glasses. And I'm going to stamp that directly on the background of my paper. And I am using my We Are Memory Key we are memory keepers platform stamp platform to put that on there to make sure that it say uh, comes out clean so now I'm just going through the ephemera pack again trying to see if I can add anything additional see if there's anything else that I need and I end up not finding anything so I pull out my ruler here that has where you can draw lines straight lines on it and I added those in pencil and then wrote out my journaling and then used a pencil off camera to erase all of those lines so it just has the journaling left afterwards and then I added the date as well and that is it for this layout guys thanks everyone for watching I really do appreciate each and every one of you I am so glad that you guys came along for inspiration on this double page layout if you want to see more double page layouts make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's all I do on this channel if you enjoyed this video if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it I hope everyone has a scrappy day thanks for watching